who would call at 6 a.m. It will not be good news. Jordan's Prishti, Inspector Georg Martin, Wiener Criminal Paul Lizai. What can I do for you, Inspector? There has been an incident at the Palaho Binthalar construction site and you are listed as the person to contact. What happened? Would you be willing to come down to headquarters and talk? Am I somehow a suspect? Not at this time. We can send a car for you and be there in half an hour. I'm well, I guess I do not have a choice. Do I need a lawyer? That is completely up to you. But personally, probably not at this time if you are innocent. That was the police. There was an accident on the job site and they want to talk to me. Do you want me to come? No, but can you call Eddie and Theory for me and tell them what is going on? Sure, consider it done. Thank you, Herr Jordan, for your cooperation in this matter. Of course. It seems that this morning at around 5 a.m., workers on your job site were climbing the recently installed scaffolding on the front facade of your building. And as they were on the third floor the scaffolding collapsed on them and they fell three floors to the pavement below. Oh my god, were they hurt? Did anyone die? Luckily, a Frau Griswold heard the commotion, called the police and an ambulance. She probably saved their lives. What can I do? Why am I here? Damn it, this better be important. Theory. Lance here. Sorry to bother you, but there has been some kind of accident at your apartment project. The police came and picked up Jax to talk to him. I don't know much more. Okay, have you called Daddy? Not yet. Call him and tell him we will all meet in the office in an hour and maybe we will find out more then. Okay, see you in an hour. Bye. What? What do you want? Do you know what time it is? Shit. Eddie, Lance here. Sorry for the early call but it is important. There was an accident on the job site. Jax is at the police. There is on her way to the office and we are all meeting there in one hour. Holy shit. Okay okay I will get there as soon as I can. Thanks Eddie. See you in an hour. I've called my lawyer, Herr Aschenbach. He is a real jerk but a very good lawyer. He is on call if we need him. Have you heard from Jax? Yes, he is on his way. Are you okay, Jax? Not really, but I'm not under arrest yet. Who is hurt? They would not tell me. They told me to stay away from the job site and did not release any names. When we get in the office, can you call Carl and see if he knows anymore? Sure, boss. I now know why the police called me in. What kind of reason could they possibly have? Well, it seems as if by magic, the police received a call around 5.30 a.m. from an anonymous caller who claimed he knew that this scaffolding incident was no accident. It was intentional so that you and I could collect the insurance money because the project was so far behind and in debt. Well, that is fucking ridiculous. Of course it is, but the police had to check it out. Who would do that? And why? That is what the police want to know. They have a recording of the call but the man, and they only say it is a man used a voice modifier and the call was from a burner phone so they had no GPS location. Again why? Do you think this is the beginning of another series of attacks on me through you and the project? Since I beefed up security at both your place and mine we've had no further incidences. I travel with my bodyguard and your office has security. Is it happening again? Should I hope not? Carl, thanks for coming in. This is not my fault. Relax, Carl. I know you and I know it is not. Jax, I checked this scaffolding myself. There was nothing to miss. I am very careful. I have never had a scaffolding mishap in all the years I have done metalwork. I believe you both. 
I do not think this was an accident. Thank you for believing me. I thought I was going to lose my job today. Carl, we need to shut the project down until we are a bit more clear about what happened. Do we know who was injured and how badly? Yes, we do. Can we visit them in the hospital? Do you or your men need anything? Don't worry about your paycheck. Thierry has said everyone will still be paid during the shutdown. I'm sorry I'm rattling on. Tell me what we know today. Well, it seems that several pins are missing from the scaffolding, which I had checked yesterday before we left. There's some minor damage to the facade and we will have to replace a couple of broken windows, but the building is repairable. Thomas and Wolfgang were in early because they wanted to get an early start before it got too hot. They were up on the third floor when they said they heard a scrapping and creaking sound and the next thing they knew they were in the hospital. Frau Griswold was up early as usual and saw the metal poles collapse right in front of her kitchen window. She had the presence of mind to call for help and the police were there within minutes. As crazy as she is she was on the spot giving first aid to both Thomas and Wolfgang. Police said she saved their lives. The doctors said we could visit this afternoon. Carl, go home and we will try to figure this all out. How are the rest of the crew handling this? Well everyone except Hans showed up today and I sent them home after I explained what had happened. They're all pretty upset. Do I know Hans? He was at the party and this is his first job with our team. As a bit standoffish, his German is not that good. Frau Griswold said he has an attitude and that her cats hiss at him when he walks by. I don't really know much more about him. We hired him as a laborer, not as a skilled worker. I will keep an eye out for him. Is it like him not to show up for work? No, not really. He is not a great worker but does his job and takes his paycheck. Like I said, not the friendliest or most talkative. So did you do it? Did you shut down the rich bitch and her queer crew? Of course, and they have no clue it was Hans the foreigner, who brought down their empire. <laughs> the boss will be pleased. Of course if anyone finds out I will be charged with attempted murder. But I sent the police on a wild goose chase. I called them and told them Beecham and Jordan did it for the insurance money. That will tie them up in bureaucratic red tape bullshit for a while. 